Hello guys, so in this episode, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to um, program the STM32 with Visual Studio and QMX and also we're gonna be configuring everything in a um, make file so the first thing there are three software that you need the first one is the STM32 Cube Programmer I'll put the down links down below the videos um, so the first software is the STM32 Cube Programmer and the second one is STM Cube Max uh, and the third one of course is the Visual Studio uh, code all right um, so the first thing we need to do is open up the STM32 Cube Max and so we're gonna open a new project so here uh, because we're using a STM32 F407 uh, so I'm gonna just type in uh, 407 VG this, this is my board so if you have other boards just search yours alright uh, so here is what we're gonna do so now the first project is gonna be a blinky LED project so um, the LED pin on my board is PA so I'm gonna set this to uh, GBIO output uh, yeah and we're gonna configure this one this little pin right we're gonna configure this little pin right here the first thing we need to do is set the GBIO output le level to the high and GBIO mode is output push mo push pull mode and also we want to set it to pull down mode and a max output speed uh, because we, we're just using an um, blinking LED so we, we're gonna set it to low so uh, looks like everything is done so we're gonna type in bling blinky LED uh, so in this toolchain ID section we're gonna select the make file uh, so everything looks fine let's generate a code so the code would be generated automatically alright uh, the code is generated so the, uh, the project folder is in my desktop so we're gonna drag this folder into the Visual Studio code alright so <clears throat> the first file we need to open is the main C. We, we need to check here. Alright, so uh, it looks simple. It's a common, uh, gen common file generated by Cubamax. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna make the LED blink. So uh, simply enough, uh, gee, we're gonna use the hall library uh, GPIO and we're gonna uh, tackle the pin but tackling the pin seems effortless right so we're gonna write a pin uh, the first thing we need, need to look up is what port so as I was saying is the port A and is the pin 1 so we're co gonna copy it and place it right here uh, here the first param is gonna be the port second is the pin so the third one is the pin state so we want the LED we want to pull the LED up so it's gonna be um, well actually if you don't remember what param you should put it put in if you, you if you are using Mac OS you just have to press the command button and click the function and you can see what kind of um, Program you need to put it in. So uh, here we want to put in the uh, the param type GBIO pin state. So we will click in again. There are, there are two states. The first one is the reset state and set state. And we want to uh, write it like this. And also we want to copy this and and we want to set it to reset. So uh, between the set and reset, we want to uh, delay the 
whole program with the whole delete function. Uh, we want to delete it for one second, so it's one thousand millimeter uh, milliseconds. Uh, so right here, we want to delete it again because it's running in a loop. So everything looks fine, but if you try to, but if you try to compile it, it's complaining on a, a lot of things. Uh, this is because you didn't specify the. Uh, the programmer uh, you need to you need to use the arm GCC to compile it uh, well first of all you need to so on on Mac OS you want to press the command shift uh, and P all together um, and before that you need to install the C++ plugin uh, if you don't know how to install that just Google it is very simple you just uh, I can I can just show you here you can just uh, here you just gonna search C++ and uh, if, uh, you want to install the first thing uh, so you, here uh, you want to type in the C++ uh, edit configuration JSON so here you can specify the um, the compiler path. So what you need to uh, use for compiling the code is the is the GC, uh, is the ARM GCC. So you need to install the ARM GCC for compilation. If you haven't installed it, you can simply install it with Homebrew. Uh, it's very easy. After installing Homebrew, you can just type in Brio, install, and ARM, and uh, this thing. I don't have to read that ARM none. Uh, by GCC, I have no idea. Just just install it. Just press enter and install it. That's simple. So uh, after installing it, you can just simply type in which ARM GCC. Uh, of course, you have to type a lot of things like this. So it returns this path to you. So you want to uh, you want to copy this path and place it right here. And um, however, the compiler was still uh, complain. So so you want to make some. So what you need to do is to make some modification inside a make file. So you you you're gonna open the make file and type in arm. So here you have to specify the the path to the GCC. Um, you just type this in. You just type the path in. So if you compile it again. So everything works fine now. Um, all right. The last thing to do is to open up the STM thirty two Q programmer. Um, so what you need to do is first open the file. We just com uh, to open the binary. Uh, so the first thing. So the first thing to do is to open up the binary file. Um, is inside the uh, blinky LED build folder here. Uh, this is what we need. Okay. So in this section, uh, this this section you can specify how you um, upload a program. So I'm gonna use the USB for this tutorial because it's very simple and fast. So what you need to do now is, uh, so you need to find a boot pin. You want to connect the boot pin to the 3.3 volt. So I have already connected in my circuit board. So what I need to do is to pr press this and connect the boot pin to the 3.3 volt. So what we need to do next is to uh, press the reset button and release the reset button. So. 
now you can release the boot button uh, so if you refresh the port here you can see there is a USB 1 which is your STM32 uh, board so you want to connect it and you want to press the download button right here it's gonna be uploaded very fast so you want to disconnect it and uh, next thing you need to uh, press the reset button so you can see the LED is actually blinking now it's very simple right so this is the episode for today hope you learned something and enjoyed it um, if you do please just thumbs up and probably subscribe thanks bye